Hi, welcome to St. Mike's Online. My name is Steve Hosselton and today we're going to talk about inductive reasoning. I always get inductive and deductive mixed up and I was able to fix that by finally attaching it to a particular mnemonic device. Let me tell you about it. We're going to talk about inductive reasoning and how it works in real life. Inductive reasoning is about taking various statements and from that drawing out a generalizable conclusion. It's very handy in research. Our mnemonic? Well, that's why this episode is called Ducks Can Count. They can. How do they figure it out? All right. Ducks have ducklings, and you've probably seen pictures or actual in real life a mother duckling swimming along with a lot of little ducklings following behind. And it's true that the average clutch of duck eggs is somewhere between 7 and 12. I checked that out, I wasn't sure. However, ducklings are the hors d'oeuvre of the predator world, and a lot of little ducklings and duck eggs end up in the bellies of fish and rodents and birds, so that there are very rarely that many little ducks swimming behind the mother duck. The interesting thing is that the mother duck can tell if a duckling goes missing only if she's got five ducklings or less. So if there are five swimming behind her and one disappears, she'll know one's missing. If there are six ducklings swimming behind her and one disappears, she won't notice that there's a difference between five or six. And from that, we can induce that ducks can count. Now, technically, we can only induce that ducks, uh, uh, female ducks can count, mother ducks. Maybe father ducks are really stupid. We have no idea. But we do know that mother ducks can count up to five, no higher than that. That's an example of inductive reasoning. 